Hello, it's Steph from Cruise with Amber. Welcome to my channel. In this tour, I'll be taking you on a full guided tour of all the dining venues aboard Havila Voyages. I'll take you on a tour of the three dining venues on board, the Havley Cafe, the Haverand Main Dining Room and Hildring Fine Dining. I'll also be sharing with you some of the delicious dishes which are available on board. All the main dining venues are located on deck 6 between the mid and aft areas of the ship. So let's explore the Havely Cafe to begin with. The name Havely derives from a house that provided warmth and security and a shelter to fishermen and sailors along the Norwegian coast. The cafe is open between 8am and 10pm with some minor adjustments made due to the sailing schedule. Outside these hours, you can find a coffee vending machine with mineral water and snacks available at reception. Food in the Havley Cafe is cooked to order, plated and served at your table. And I found this to be a very relaxing and refreshing way to grab a snack as opposed to a busy cruise ship buffet. This is a great place to grab a coffee and cake, a lunch or even a simple dinner, all with spectacular views. Here you'll find honest food with traditional ingredients. You'll find baked goods and sandwiches and both hot and cold dishes. Standard coffee and tea and the menu from the Havley Cafe are all included in package tours. This includes journeys north and south or the full 12 day round trip from Bergen. While the standard menu is included in package tours, pre-packaged products such as snacks, bottled beverages and juices are available at a small additional cost. For a full selection of the delicious food that's on offer, take a look at this menu. As well as items including pizzas and burgers, the menu also features traditional Norwegian fare such as a creamy fish soup with salmon, cod and prawns. The onboard bakery offers a delicious selection of fresh bread rolls and cinnamon rolls or the Havli bun with chocolate and vanilla cream. And here's a sample of some of the food that I tried on board. Next, let's move into the Haverand restaurant. This is the main restaurant on board serving breakfast, lunch and dinner. The name Haverand comes from the place where the sea and sky meet, the one fixed point which is always there. Upon boarding, you're allocated a specific dining time to ensure the most efficient and attentive service. I found the staff to be extremely friendly and helpful. In this restaurant, you'll find an extensive range of hot and cold, sweet and savoury food on offer. Floor to ceiling windows which wrap around the whole restaurant offer amazing views of the beautiful passing scenery. The menu in Haverand offers a number of set dishes which are available throughout the whole voyage. In addition to this, there are menu variations from the four different coastal regions which Havila Voyages sails through. This means that if you're traveling through the entire 12 day voyage, you can try something different for breakfast, lunch and dinner every day. For breakfast, there is a selection of cheeses, jams, cold cuts, vegetables and fruits, along with baked goods and hot dishes. While you're not restricted to how many dishes you order, you are encouraged to order no more than you can comfortably finish. And this links with Havila Voyages focus on sustainability and reducing food waste. The four regional menus change every third day to reflect the part of the coast that you're sailing in. For passengers who have upgraded to Havila Gold, they also have the option of choosing additional items from this menu. Here's a small selection of the items available on the breakfast menu. Moving on to the lunch menu. Once again, there is a menu for the round trip, which is always available. There's also a good selection of vegetarian items available on the menu as standard. 
vegan options are also available upon request and food allergies can be easily accommodated. Guests are advised to share any particular dietary requirements or allergies during the booking process. If you have chosen the Havala Gold package, then you have the option for choosing some additional items from this menu. While you are not restricted to the amount of dishes you order, it's recommended that you order at least three small dishes for a satisfying lunch. Now let's move on to the dinner menus. Once again, there is the round trip voyage menu, which is always available, along with the four regional menus, which change every third day. For dinner, it is recommended that you order a starter, main and dessert. I've also included the kids menu which is available for both lunch and dinner and here are some of the delicious items I tried while I was on the polar land section of the voyage between Buda and Honisvag. Finally, let's explore Hildring Fine Dining Restaurant. This is a smaller venue approximately the same size as the Havley Cafe on the opposite side of the ship. This restaurant has an additional cover charge for a five course signature menu. The fine dining menu in Hildring alternates between two different menus. Let me share with you the dishes which were available from the menu on the northbound voyage. Hildring is named after the rare mirage, where light bends in the atmosphere, making islands or ships appear to float above the horizon. This is a more intimate and elegant dining venue with the best ingredients that Norway has to offer. Hildring is open for dinner between 6pm and 10pm and you can reserve a table on board. The fine dining restaurant is also open to sweet guests for breakfast between 8am and 11am. For passengers sailing the northbound or southbound voyage and who have upgraded to Havala Gold, an evening in Hildring is included. If you're sailing the full 12-day round-trip voyage from Bergen and have upgraded to Havala Gold, then two nights are included. Now let me share with you some of the items that are available with the drinks menu on board. Havala Voyages offers two different categories of drinks package, one with alcohol and one without. Within each package you can choose from a small, medium or large option. Unlike other drinks packages you might find on other cruise lines, Havala Voyages drinks packages are based on the number of drinks or units that you wish to purchase in advance, rather than per passenger or per day pricing. The best thing about this package is that you can share it between passengers. The drinks package can also be used at all serving points on board and it can be bought in advance or on ship. It's also worth noting that a small non-alcoholic beverage package of 30 units is already included for guests who have upgraded to Havala Gold.
Thank you so much for watching my dining guide on Havila voyages. I hope you find it useful and if you do, please consider subscribing. There's much more Havila voyages content available on my channel, including a ship tour, cabin tours, as well as a short vlog series documenting my time on board. Or why don't you watch one of these videos now?